back again, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, man, everybody out there. I'm back to talk to y'all, man. Kodak Black, man. This situation is getting real ugly for that man. Now, I know he got a rape charge with a 14 year old girl in Carolina. You know what I'm saying? He got to do slob and uh, blood samples and stuff of that nature. I know he may be a little afraid of whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But why in the world is Kodak Black taking shots at Laura London in a situation like that? Knowing she's a widow and the thing she just went through with her husband dying with Nipsey Hussle. Now, I've been seeing T.I. and Lil Wayne all comment on this situation. They feel very, very disrespected, man. The whole, like, so many fans, so many people have been speaking out about this situation. And my thoughts on this whole situation is what is he thinking? I'm confused. Now, I mean, we all love Kodak Black music, but some ignorant stuff is just becoming ridiculous, man. Now, it got to come a point in somebody's life when we think before we actually speak out our mouth. Because when we don't take the time to think, we're going to make idiotic mistakes over and over again. You know what I'm saying? There's no intelligence for a man to be on camera live and know he on live and talking about somebody, you know what I mean? Wife, I mean, just lost their husband whatever. And you on live talking about dating this individual and all these type of things that don't need to be talked about. You know what I mean? It's a disrespectful thing, man. How can somebody be so cold hearted? Man just passed away and you saying things of this nature, man. The youth out here, when is, we, we got to do better with the youth, man, because somebody ain't raised an individual the right way. Because there's no way, man, somebody just passed away and the first thing that coming out your mouth is something sexual like that. You know what I mean? It's very disrespectful, cold-hearted, and just, it's distasteful in all matters and all ways. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a couple of comments by Wayne. He's really in a pissed off mood. Wayne and Kodak Black, we all know, got issues and problems. Kodak Black disrespected his. Now this is getting even crazy. Kodak Black just disrespected his daughter, his ex-wife, now his baby mama. It's like, God dang, like how far is Kodak gonna go with this? You know what I mean? He's really going to a disrespectful level, man. T.I. then came out and said a few words about it. He felt the energy of this just being real disrespect. And I'm pretty for sure a lot of cats on the West Coast gonna be speaking on this situation because they know this is like way out of line. I don't feel like Trick Daddy or nobody from Miami should be standing up for a person that's doing something that's cold hearted and distasteful like that. I feel like somebody need to sit him down in the room and have a conversation with him. It's okay if you want to be play this gangster role and all of that, but at the same time, you got to be a respectable man out here. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to lead by example. You in a position of power, a platform, and your words are being taken and moved all around the world. You know what I'm saying? Positivity is a way of lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? We got to do better than be saying things like that. It's very distasteful, man. And me, who was a Kodak Black fan, I'm just disgusted just from that comment, the comments he made about the Gucci product, and he was saying black people be reaching when they disrespected our whole culture. Yes, they did apologize, and I forgive him for that, but Kodak Black ain't never apologized for the words that he was saying when he said black people be reaching. We supposed to be respected as a culture, you know what I mean? And no matter what nobody say, we should always be respected. And that comment that he made right there, and then the, the disrespectful things he been saying to Lil Wayne daughter and, and ex-wife and now this situation with the Lord London knowing Nipsey Hussle just passed away it's just way out of line man and I just I I can't I can't bang with it no more now if like I say man he about to go he going to trial for this rape situation 14 year old girl from South Carolina they doing slob and they doing blood testing and I feel like karma is hectic he need to stop what he's doing, man. Because I'm telling you, man, karma, the energy that you put out will come back to you. Understand that respectfully. This is just distasteful, man. I can't I can't bang with it no more, man. It, it just, it's horrible as a person that liked his music and thought he was an individual with intelligence. But I should have knew something was wrong when he was doing that stuff with Master P. And Master P was trying to get his books to make sure he was getting all the right money. And he was coming at Master P saying, Master P doing too much. And Master P was trying to clean up his image and allow him to go to the school to talk to the kids. But as we all can see, that may have not been the wisest thing to do. You know, <laughs> Master P got away from that situation. He said he no longer will attend anything like that. Like I say, Master P was trying to help him out because he talk about guns and drugs and stuff like that. They're not gonna just let you walk into a school and talk to kids when your image is that. So Master P was trying to go there and try to show the people that he was just talking about where he came from. Once again, he tried to help him with his books and try to help his image. And he both detached from Master P and became, just made this negative energy about Master P. And we all know Master P helped a lot of people become millionaires. 
So let's let Kodak Black is done in my book, man. I just feel like he's not, he's bad for the culture if you're gonna keep speaking without thinking and doing things without thinking and calling it some type of gangster thing. It's just disrespectful and just cold hearted. And I just I can't condone I can't condone it, man. I'm out of here, man. I am being there, Charlie, man. Love all y'all out there. Respect y'all. Y'all hit that subscribe button for me. Share my videos all over, man. And we will keep growing together as a family, man. Put God first, family, and finances. Love y'all.